Hey guys, just Jannie. Today I wanted to show you how I make my snails and fit the marbles in them. I'm using um, both large and small marbles, or would you call it regular marbles? I don't know. Um, for my napkin holder, I'm using the longest forks I have, so these two are good for napkin holders. These three are all the smaller dinner fork size and then this one is a baby fork or a toddler fork and then I have crystal rivets for his eyes and for the napkin rings I'm using the six millimeter and um, I don't have one here with eyes in it, but for any of these, I'm just using the four millimeter crystal rivet. Uh, so I anneal the entire fork just to make it easier, flatten it out, and if you want any texture in it, you need to do that next. You hammer that in. Um, this is the exact same fork, same pattern. So what I did was this section between the pattern, I hammered this one just to make it look a little different. And our goal is to have our marble or our shell sitting on this flat piece right here. You can see this one's kind of curved, which I like. I like the curve, it fits nice and flows. But you can see this one only has a slight curve and this one has almost I mean, no curve at all and it's farther back than I would like it. But I think it, it's still a nice snail. But uh, this is my goal, this is the one I, I aim for. So we annealed, we flattened, we hammered it out if we wanted. So next we are going to make our shell. So I'm gonna go over to my bender press and show you how I do it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is with the pattern side of my fork facing down, I'm gonna press along here because we want that little bit of curve and it's really hard to get it in just bending it so I'm gonna use my rubber puck and just give it a, a little bit of a start so that it's not so hard to bend okay you see I just put a little bit of a curve on there so that when I wrap this around it it has something to sit on right there so after we bend that little bit of curve in, I'm just going to use the largest channel in the block, just like if you're going to make a, a ring, except we're not going to get it as tight. We're going to leave room for that marble. Um, if you need to, you can take a PVC pipe. This is one inch if you need to uh, if it's easier for you to keep it round because sometimes when you're trying to keep it big enough around it ends up getting um, wonky or tight and it doesn't it's just harder to get it to go but you can use a piece of PVC to Keep it round while you're getting it where you need to be. So we can see we have a ways to go, but it kept it round while we're getting there. I'm a little off center. Oops. 
Okay, and then from there, I just work it around, trying not to get it too wonky. And I know from previous projects that the tip of the handle is going to come, you know, quarter inch or half inch past the top of the fork. So I just know to keep going, you know, until about there and then we'll try to fit the marble. So you can see it's a, a little bit uh, more oval than round. It's not touching down here yet, but I'm going to check the marble. I have to take this one out of here. I don't glue mine. It just pops in. So it should, you should hear it kind of click in and it stays. You can see me shake that. It doesn't fall out. So from this point on, I'm just going to do little bit and check, little bit and check. It actually went in pretty good, snapped right in. I don't know if you can see it, I have a very large gap right there. Not terrible, but I like to get things as round as I can. So I'm going to put my, just my metal block here. And you can leave their marble in and just press down on here. Of course I made it loose, but it also helps make it round. I'm gonna go ahead and press a little more while I'm right there. Now that went in, snapped, in place. It is a smidge loose, so I'm just going to switch back to my block. And tighten that up just a smidge. Remember there's no right or wrong way or right or wrong tool. Just whatever works for you. I'm just showing you what I do on mine. Still a little bit pointy on either side. I'd like it a little more round. So I'll keep tweaking on that and then I'll show you how to make the antennas and the feet. Okay, once you have your shell where you want it, I use a stainless steel straw from Walmart. Um, I do the feet first, so the outside tines. I say feet, I believe it's called a foot, they have one foot. So you can see I leave a space between where the tine meets the base of the fork there. So I'm not bending it all the way from there. I'm coming out a little to make my bend. That's just personal preference. You can bend yours however you like. 
So I try to get them parallel. You'll have to tweak them so that they sit flat. If this is too hard for you to hold on to it and bend it, you can put this side of the shell in the vise and let that hold it for you. Okay, I'll check those in a minute. Next, I'm going to bend these up for the eyes. I'll try to go about the same distance from here, same as I did on the foot. And it's really up to you what you want it to look like. So once I have those up, I'm going to bend them out to the side a little. I like to see the, the pattern in there. Um, maybe a little more back. I mean, that's as far as I can go. I'm touching unless I uh, bend it by hand or with some pliers. So next, I like my little wire pliers. Go ahead and bend an eye. Now you can do them different. This eye is forward. You can do them backwards. This one, I curl them forward and then turn them out to the side. So I'll do that again so I can show you how I did it. I think these particular pliers are the easiest to use because of the grip on them. They're the Wubbers brand and that grip just makes it really easy to curl these around. And I don't know if you can see there, I made one with a bigger loop than the other. So one's higher than the other and they can be that way if you want. I'm going to leave mine that way. And then to get his eyes out, I just grab them and turn them out. Oh. Do the same thing on the other side. And how far out, you know, just depends on what you like. And then if you want to do the rivet eyes, you can do those. He would look kind of like that. I don't think I'm going to put any in this guy yet. If you don't know about those, they're, they're crystal rivets. They come with the little crystal in a rivet and the back. And you use these pliers that have a divot for 4 millimeter and 6 millimeter. The other side's flat. And when you put set one on here. Oops. When you put that on there, the crystal sits in the divot so that it doesn't get cracked. And then, I don't know if I can show you without. There we go. So crystal fits in there and then you'd squeeze it tight and it'll crimp that down on there and then you'll have your little eyes. Um, so we're going to make sure that it sits flat. My workbench is rough so I just grab a, my metal block and sit him on it 
and if he's too tippy or wonky, I tweak his feet to make him sit right. Actually, that one's sitting pretty good. My marble doesn't come out. So, there we go. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe.